Hello, in this video we'll talk about antioxidants which are substances that prevent oxidation. The loss of electron is known as oxidation process and as a result of oxidation free radicals could be generated which are electron hungry species. They can literally snatch electron from any other molecules. But antioxidants are those molecules which can donate electron to these re uh, reactive oxygen species and thereby coming them down, saving our body from their harmful effect. So let's talk about how reactive oxygen species are generated. They can be generated under physiological or pathological circumstances. Under normal circumstances, when we are breathing under cellular respiration, ROS can be generated in mitochondria. In the electron transport chain, we know that electrons are relayed. And ultimately, that electron is accepted by an electron acceptor, which is oxygen. And that leads to production of H2O. Simultaneously, proton is pumped out and it creates a proton gradient. And that gradient is utilized to generate ATP with the help of ATP synthase enzyme. Now, let me tell you, if oxygen receives four electron, it would be converted into two molecules of water. And that's okay. But due to some circumstances, if oxygen receives two electron, one, uh, one electron, then it becomes superoxide radical. If it receives two electrons, then it becomes hydrogen peroxide. If it receives three electron, it becomes hydroxyl radical. All of these are pretty dangerous for our body. Now, let me tell you, Several cell types in our body such as dendritic cell, macrophages, which are immune cells, they use ROS to combat pathogens. They use ROS to kill the pathogens or create membrane damage to these pathogens. So ROS is not that bad. But there are a lot of harmful effects of ROS because ROS can snatch electron from the membrane that leads to charge imbalance in the membrane and that creates a free radical cascade in the membrane. This is called as lipid peroxidation and this leads to damage of the membrane. So cellular level of injury can happen when there is too much of ROS. Other than that, these reactive oxygen species can steal electron from enzymes and can alter their functionality. It can also create DNA damage by stealing electron from the DNA. So overall, all of these reactive oxygen species are pretty nasty. But our body can possibly fight back these harmful effects by scavenging mechanisms. So there are two type of defense mechanism which are utilized by our body. One is an enzymatic mechanism and another is a non-enzymatic defense system. In enzymatic defense system, there are a bunch of enzymes which combat ROS and in non-enzymatic defense system there are several vitamins which are really good antioxidants which we can obtain via our diet. Other than that there is glutathione, chelating agents like metal proteins which can also combat ROS and prevent harmful effects of ROS. So having a balanced diet combining several foods is really important especially Food that are enriched in vitamin A such as carrot, bell pepper, mutton liver, uh, sweet potatoes are really important. Things that are enriched in uh, vitamin E such as several grains, um, olives, kiwi, these are good. Now vitamin C is a potent antioxidant and the key sources of vitamin C is bell pepper, lemon, orange, guava. Brussels sprout, cauliflower or even kiwi. Other than these substances, we can get antioxidants from berries and several spices like turmeric, cinnamon, etc. So, so far we have discussed that we can consume antioxidants by having um, their input from our diet. But other than diet, we have several defense mechanisms embedded in our body itself and these are enzymatic defense against reactive oxygen species. So they also work like an antioxidant. 
because they neutralize these free radicals. First and foremost, we should talk about superoxide dismutase, which converts superoxide radical into oxygen and hydrogen peroxide, which is less harmful. Anyway, hydrogen peroxide gets further converted to water with the help of the enzyme glutathione peroxidase, which literally takes electron from reduced glutathione and give it to the hydrogen peroxide radical. But in this process, glutathione is oxidized himself. Now, oxidized glutathione need to be replenished and it need to be reduced. So that is done by glutathione reductase and this process involves NADPH. So this is enzymatic defense system against reactive oxygen species. Now, glut good source of glutathione includes spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprout or asparagus. So we need to ensure we include these things in our diet in order to combat ROS. Now let me tell you, having adequate amount of antioxidant can slow down aging. Not only that, ROS has some bright side as well. Now ROS is not really that bad when produced in a very low level. But what are the circumstances when ROS is produced at a manageable level? Exercise. When we do exercise, very low level of ROS is produced. And that has benefits. Let me tell you how. Now, generally when ROS is produced in our body, our defense mechanism try to combat ROS by neutralizing them. Now, when we do exercise, every day a little bit of ROS is generated. This is kind of tuning our ROS defense system. Now, next time, whenever there is high level of uh, ROS uh, exposure from, let's say, pollutants or let's say pesticides or even from the UV, then our body can combat ROS in a way better fashion than before. That means small, small exposure every day makes us more prepared to fight the battle. So moral of the story, we need to eat healthy, we need to do exercise every time in order to protect our body from ROS mediated damages. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for getting notification. You can connect to me via social media. All the links are provided in my description. You can connect, uh, you can find me in social media via this name. Thanks for listening. See you in the next video.